hello and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Ruby Storm and I'm back with another video for today so in today's video I already unboxed it but I did get the DDJ flex 4 let me show you what that looks like all right so I did get the DDJ flex 4 this is what she looks like um, I did decide to trade in my DDJ 200 Pioneer because I just felt like it was super basic and um, it only used record box. You couldn't use Serato. This you can use record box. You can also use Serato, um, DJ Light, Serato. You can use all of that. Um, I really like this. I will say you do need to make sure that you have headphones for this and also make sure that you have um speakers for this but this is already made such a big difference with like me learning how to dj there's so many more bells and whistles on here that you just didn't have like you have the smart cf x on here you have the smart fader on here which you did not have with the ddj 200 there's just so many more bells and whistles with this, I feel, and I honestly love it so much more. It is a lot more things that I need to learn. I also need to, like, map out my DJ um, set here, too, as well, as far as it goes with, like, the sampler and the pad FX. Um, yeah, so let me show you guys a little bit closer what this looks like. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, um, I have been practicing on this and it is definitely a little bit of, um, not necessarily a learning curve, but like it is a little bit different as far as it goes with the DDJ 200, but I feel like this is perfect still for a beginner. Like you can still learn it. Um, I have been using record box for this. I did start off with Serato, but I was liking record box a little bit more with this because you can see the BPMs on the record box um, and you can just kind of make your own playlist a little bit better. I don't know. I'm still figuring out Serato. So when I figure that out, I'll let you guys know and I'll make another video. But I did want to show you guys this DDJ Flex. Oh, another thing before I forget, it does have the in and out where you can make like a loop up here. Um, on both sides of the DJ set and the CDJs. Um, you also have a trim option up at the top as well, which is what you didn't have with the DDJ um, 200. Of course, you have the fader um, at the bottom. You have your play buttons. And yeah, I honestly, I just really, really love this. It's a little bit bigger, once again, than the DDJ um, 200, but it's an easier way way easier setup than the ddj 200 i will say that um and yeah that's pretty much it as far as it goes with this video i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and um stay tuned for me showing you guys my latest dj skills Mwah! love you